You're going to go ahead and you, you were supposed to start this, but just in case you didn't, I'm going to model it really quickly. Number one says describe your creature as much detail as possible. Include information about texture, size, color, shape, etc. Okay, Mr. Conklin, you are the one doing this. Okay, so here we go. Type. I'll show everybody. I have a, my, my phone is recording this, so I'll be able to put, we'll post this. So I'm going to hold it up to the phone so everybody can see it. And now I'm going to hold it up to the screen so everybody can see it. It's okay, still in the package. Your project, Mr. Conklin, so start talking. Okay, so Try what? Creature as much as possible. Uh, what I see in my uh, uh, package, it says Mega Ray. So mine is a Stingray. Okay. Um, it's a little bit of like a reddish sparkly color. Maybe a little bit brown, kind of like a reddish brown. Um, it's kind of like a, 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 like a circular shape at the top, but then it's got a long tail. We'll hold it up there and I'll put it at the video so everybody can see that's our shape. Mr. Spina, anything else you want to know about this before I open it and I start to touch it? Well, what is the texture of it? So you're going to have to do that when you open it. This, and you're going to have to measure it. You do that when you open it. You gave, I me, have, the color, you gave me the shape. So you I have that. Down. Okay, so I'm going to open it up. Yeah. And I'm not going to get crazy when I open it because I don't want to wreck it. Hold on. Let me use my pen still here. Here, I'll turn this down so you guys can see my... Uh, go into this. Give me the texture now. Ooh. She doesn't want to open She's a crazy stingray. All right. You're not going to drop it yet. Just wait. And remember, you guys can follow along with us as we're doing this, or you can just watch us, and then we're going to let you guys do the whole process. We'll keep you on so you can all talk and show us to do it. So maybe just watch us the first time. Um, okay, Mr. Spina, I'm touching it, and you know what? It kind of feels a little bit, you know those block erasers, like the pink block erasers? Feels a little bit like an eraser, kind of like a rubber material. Um, its two eyes are like a little bit like harder plastic. Um, but yeah, kind of like a rubber, like a rubber dog toy, maybe, if you've ever seen one of those. You know, it's the bottom of it is, it's really the same smoothness all around. It feels the same pretty much everywhere except for the eyes. It feels exactly the same. Okay. Okay. There we kind go. of maybe yeah. even like a little bit like a football, like a football rubber ball, kind of like an eraser kind of feel. I'll show it into our okay, now, YouTube what video about, there. Um, what about the size? Measure it out. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna have to set that down on the table. You guys will see it in the video. I'll hold it up in a second, but let, I got my I got my tape measure. Mr. Speed, I'm gonna go with inches because it's my favorite. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna measure it from the tail to the end of its face. Oh, Mr. Spina, you're not gonna believe it. It is exactly five and three quarters inches long. That's long. Okay, I'm going to get that. Now I'm going to measure it the, the the width of it, like across, not the length, the other direction. And it is three and three quarters inches across. So I'll hold this up so you guys can see. I measured it from the width as long, as wide as it is from here to here. And then the length I measured from the tail to the top of its head. Okay, what about the height? Oh, height is going to be kind of hard because the height is how tall it is this way. Mm -hmm. I would say it's about, the center is a little bit thicker, so I'm going to measure from the center. It, it's different heights, but at its biggest height, it is about a quarter of one inch. Okay. Not very big at all. It's not very tall at all. Okay. Times width, times height. Okay, so we got that 
Excellent. Okay, so you guys just check this out, what we've done so far. We've answered now one more thing we want to know, Mr. Conkin, how does it smell? Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, I'm nervous. Ooh. <laughs> this is going to sound weird, but you know what it smells like to me? Is You know when you sharpen your pencil and the pencil sharpener uh, pieces are in the machine? So it smells a little like like burny wood. Oh, my mic's on. A little bit like like burny wood or wood that like has been burned. Oh, it doesn't smell that good at all. I hope he doesn't ask me to taste it next. No, no, no. I think so. Look, the, you guys have all this down. We have a little list here, so I have my little list here, and then I can go ahead and get this out of my way. And then I can just go ahead and highlight it. And all I did was go up here and I, I used um, numbers to basically do that. Or if I don't like that, I can go ahead and highlight it. This is in my way. And I can just use it. Yeah, like that. Go ahead and mark it there. So you can use up here. You can play with different things up here. Okay. Now, and remember, you guys don't have to rush to get this all filled in. This is what you can do after lunch. So you don't have to get it all filled in. We're going to do try to do the drop just together. Idea. This is just giving you an idea what to do. We're just showing you. Yeah, most of you should be watching what we're doing. Okay, let's focus now. Stay on it. All you're doing is watching now, and then you'll do it in a few minutes. Okay, now, Miss Conklin, what's going to happen is you're going to go ahead and do this later because... I can draw it in. I'll definitely draw it in. You're going to go up here, and you're going to go ahead and start to draw out your creature the best you can. Use details. Remember, everyone... Ms. Conka, I know you remember, but just in case, there's your, you have a full color, when you hit draw, you have a um, color palette here where you can get in as many colors as you try to be accurate as you can with your coloring. Okay? So Ms. Conka is do the best he can to draw that stingray out mm -hmm. and, and making sure that he can go ahead and get it as close as he can to the, the size of it. Jazzy, I have Jazzy. I still for anybody that doesn't have these yet, there are still about fourteen on my front porch. So send me a message. You can get them anytime this weekend. It'll be out there all weekend through Monday. Just send me a message or look back. I gave everybody my address. They're on the porch. Come get one. Okay, and then also what you have to do is here state your hypothesis, Mr. Conklin. Now you know how big it is now, so roughly when you when you drop it, you're going to drop yours in water, so you would put. I dropped my water after seven full days. I predict it will, or uh, I predict the Increase or decrease, Mr. Conklin? I, oh, with water, I am going to predict that it will for sure increase. Okay, now roughly just give me your, what do you think size-wise? So I think it will get to be at least, length? at least length? eight inches long. I'm going to measure the width again. The width, it's at just under four. So I think it'll be... Six inches wide. And I think it will get to be, it's about a quarter of an inch high now. I think, I don't think it's going to get that high. I think it will stay a quarter of an inch high. I think it's going to get long and wide, but I don't think it's going to get taller. So keep that at, I think it'll stay at a quarter of an inch. I do not think it'll get taller. Or height, you mean height. Or height, yes. Okay, that's a prediction. There we go. <coughs> that's his hypothesis. He dropped in water at seven foot. Did I predict the dimensions will increase? I put in the dimensions right there. Then what you're gonna do now, Mr. Conklin, you're gonna go get some gonna get here's some, my container. Have a large container. Here's my container for anybody that wants to see. I'll show it for the YouTube right. video too. Okay, now we decided we were doing water in ours, correct? Yes. Okay, I'll be right back. Large container with water. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and we're having that uh, good good idea now. At this point, you may want to hold because we're gonna we're gonna actually video. We're gonna watch some of you do it. If you want to drop it now, you can drop it. But make sure, hold on. You you're not dropping anything until you make sure you have some of this filled out. Hey, and it's very important. Any you of you got drop it till you do one, two, and three. Any of you guys that shoot your dropping in a in a video. And if your mom or dad send it, sends it to me and says we're allowed to post it, we'll post it so that it can be on the YouTube for people to see. But your mom and dad have to say it's okay. And remember, you're not <clears throat> dropping it until one, two, and three are done. All right, Mr. Spina here. Can everybody see my water in there? It's going to get can get his done here because we need to show you, but this should have been drawn out. But he will draw it. All right, Mr. Spina, are you ready? Do it. All right, it is in. Ooh. What does it do? Oh, it stayed up at the top for like three or four seconds, and then it sank right down to the bottom of the, the container. You guys will be able to see it. I'm recording this on YouTube, so you'll be able to see it right when we're done. All right, Mr. Spina, anything else we need to fill out for today? Okay, hold on. Tell us what you're typing so it gets on the recording. I stayed at the top for about two or three seconds. Yeah. Two or three seconds, then it dropped to the bottom. To the bottom. See, I, I'm recording as a scientist. You record everything. I'm recording as I'm doing. You have to record things. All right, Mr. Spina, now, we're not going to let them go, but just, Mr. Spina, to wrap up our video that I'm recording, are we doing, do we need anything else to answer for them to watch in the video, or are we good with the video? No, I think the video is good. The only thing okay. I want to know right now from you yes. is were there any kind of air bubbles coming up from the Oh, yes, and I'll even zoom in with the YouTube video. You can see all kinds of bubbles. They didn't come up to the top, but there are lots of new bubbles on the bottom of the container. So make sure you log in everything you see. There's a lot of bubbles. I'd say a good 35 bubbles that are still on the bottom of the container that were not there before. All right, that's everything you have to do for day one.